raining down in Willow Tree, wouldn't hear a diesel from the Full of fire and I tucker and a cover, start to feel all right. <laughs> That was the Aboriginal story of the creation of Ayers Rock. The Aboriginal people view it as a sacred monument where many of their spiritual ceremonies are still performed. When the tour was finished, our guides hugged and thanked me for coming. Only me. You were right. I am not as racially ambiguous as I think I am. Here, the past and the present cohabitate the same fabric of time in order to exist. Spirituality and commerce breed a healthy tourism industry. I came to the rock because I was told you could climb it. I wasn't told that the climb could be closed. Did you know that there are camels in Australia? This is Jamie. Uh, that's his mate Angus. They're both orphans. They need to be five years before you can work them like the rest of the camels. Um, so basically they got the next four and a half years off to slowly become psychotic enough to uh, put you guys on them. We don't bother breeding them at the farm because they need to be five years before you can work them. Um, and the breeding itself is quite a slow process. The gestation's around about 14 months. Hello. And they only average a baby every three years or so, so it's a really slow process. You're a big stool. Right. <laughs> All right, well, if you want to stroll over, we'll meet the big guys. Life at the Rock is a series of sunrises and sunsets. Each one holds an audience and a price tag of its own. Time at the Rock is an almost tangible presence. It demands complete cooperation. Dante wrote, the wisest are the most annoyed at the loss of time. I was merely annoyed with the structure of time. <laughs> <laughs> 